What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Level Start Podcast, part of the Play Legit Network, your only source for gaming and real talk. I'm your host, T42, and welcome to a new kind of level start. The kind of level start that um, has a green screen effects. Oh, yes. More things to come on that in the future, especially for any of our live streams that I do, personally. You will probably see more of this kind of stuff. Pray that the... Um, the internet cooperates more that would be pretty fantastic i would like i would like that to happen but yeah enjoy this nice little background as we uh get into our show for a little bit first on the agenda the crew i'm sure some of you have heard of the crew if you go right on over to pc gamer on facebook check them out they have a link to where you guys can enter a chance to win some PC beta access keys for the crew. Limited time, and we're giving away PC beta keys for Ubisoft's The Crew. Get yours while supplies last. This is going to be on Wednesday, I believe, that they're going to be doing this uh, giveaway thing, if I'm not mistaken. So enjoy. It'll be a lot of fun. Do it. Um, over the weekend, there seems to have been some problems with Battle.net and Sony Online and even more uh, online services getting hit by uh, a DDoS, which is a denial of service, which isn't really necessarily a hack. No one's account or any information like that has been confirmed, um, taken or anything like that, but there, there, what it did interrupt services for different periods of time over the weekend. As a matter of fact, I myself over the weekend noticed it when I was playing some StarCraft II Arcade with my buddy Echo Bane, and we seem to have gotten disconnected altogether. Uh, there was definitely some lag while we were playing, and so that made things definitely a lot more interesting, if I do say so myself. But yeah, so Hacker Group, um does this ddos thing and those suck for everybody i don't know necessarily why their reasons were apparently soe and and battle.net these guys are giving away private information to the man or something like that and so yeah that's that happened and it wasn't fun and they even called in a bomb threat to the guy who is the CEO of Sony, uh, of SOE, so yeah, that was not cool because he was on an airplane they called in to American Airlines. That's not cool for, for a lot of reasons, so that sucks, yeah. But, moving on to other news, I'm sure by now, as the time of this broadcast, you guys will have heard about Twitch, the confirmation that they have been bought by Amazon and not Google, which is what everybody thought was going to happen, because there wasn't anything confirmed, but everybody just kept assuming. But now it is confirmed that Amazon, of all things, has bought Twitch. There's a letter from the CEO of Twitch on Twitch's website, and twitch.tv. You guys can go and read how he talks about this. I'm not sure um, what this is going to do for Twitch itself. I don't know if the people that were thinking it was going to be just as bad as what Google did to YouTube with all this other blah. I know that in the VOD, the video on demand stuff of the past recordings of people's broadcasts can get flagged for stuff, but that still has not yet to affect, from what I understand, the actual streams of people playing live. So this is all very interesting and where it's going to go from here, especially with Amazon's parenthood now as Amazon now owns Twitch, it should be quite interesting to see what comes from that. Well guys, I have been getting myself geared up and ready for all these Space Sim games that are coming out. As you know of previous broadcasts, I've talked about how I love space games, I love flight sim space stuff, I just love that those kinds of games, and uh, recently I was watching some YouTube videos of this guy, Space Game Junkie, uh, do some gameplay footage and talking about these kind of things and he does a lot of the same stuff that I really love to play. I got really interested in this stuff and he kind of gave me the unofficial invite to come play with them from time to time 
So yeah, I'm really excited about that and it got me so excited that I went ahead and bought, should be here tomorrow, the uh, SciTech X52 Pro, I believe. I already have a SciTech joystick that's just a joystick by itself, but this is a joystick and throttle to get me ready for games such as Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen and others that are out there and one that I really wanted you guys to see the trailer of because I am really excited for this one is this one game called Enemy Starfighter. Enemy Starfighter is a space sim game but its graphics are definitely reminiscent uh, have the feel of Homeworld to me a game that I love which is getting a remastered release at the end of this year so yes excited for that but I can now be in the cockpit of a ship that has very similar esque style of, of look to it that that real-time strategy did and that is just exciting and I'm looking forward to it so here check out this trailer for enemy Starfire. Alright guys, what did you think of that trailer? That was pretty sweet. I am so looking forward to that and I cannot wait till my joystick and throttle get here because I'm going to just hop into some of these space sims and just start shooting stuff and having fun. So yeah, shout out to Space Game Junkie, man. Love your stuff. Love your videos. Keep up what you're doing because I'm a fan. So yeah. Anyway... That's going to be our show as I hit the mic. That's a good sign that we should probably end this. <laughs> uh, that's going to be our show for today. Go check out playlegit.net. We've got some great stuff going on up there right now. I know that Heck G and KJ have a really awesome Let's Play of some Destruction Derby 2. They do some gameplay of that together. So go check that out. Miss Throwback has some real talk on Mario Maker. My review of Sanctuary RPG is up there, and uh, there's some, some photos from when Valdez went to Nintendo World and NYC. So go check all these things out, guys. we got a lot of really cool stuff on, on the site right now. A lot of really fun things are going on. You know, so, yeah. Do yourself a favor and go have some fun checking that stuff out. As always, we're at PlayLegit on Twitter. I'm T42. Take it easy, you guys. Stay legit.